Hey, how's it going everyone? So here's the final final drawing. And um, I added the single black uh, hairs. And basically, I just extended. See, I made like these like triangles along the edge. And then from the end of those uh, triangles. Oh, so this is a mechanical pencil and then all I do is I just randomly add these these black hairs see there's layers here so this is one layer and it's best to start from the, uh, the lowest layer so you start from here and then up here these hairs right here come up from the bottom here so that's another layer. So you're gonna have hairs. And why are they like this? Why are they white? The reason is because it gives a, it suggests a light is hitting these black hairs and it's reflecting light and that's why they they stand out like this. You can go in and darken the, the ends to further suggest that they're coming up from the bottom below this layer. And these hairs are coming up from under here. Again, you can darken, blend in the, the base a bit. See, and then I just go around extending these hairs. You could also add these individual hairs. Include them in the within the, the lighter hair. Just don't add too many. Just a few. You could also get like really fancy. And add a couple of hairs that start down they start down here. They go here under this hair. And it comes out here. So there's a lot of things that you can do. You could also have a couple of hairs coming up from this, below this layer of hair. Because that's a, a spot is just on any animal, like a cheetah, a jaguar, leopard. The spots are hair. That's that's what that, that, that's what the spots are. It's just black hair. So it's important to treat it as hair. So that's why we we include all these like single individual black hairs. And then we darken this area down here. The reason we darken these the lighter hairs below is because the, the black hairs above are casting a shadow, right? So they're gonna be darker. So we just go in and we just darken these the base of these hairs. So these hairs are coming up from the bottom here, below these hairs. Same thing here, we can darken these. And I did the same here. This one it wasn't here. This spot wasn't here in the last video. When I added it, just to show you that you can turn any one of these hairs into a spot you know I'll just add another one here just to show you
like I said, this is your drawing. You can do whatever you want. Add spots where you don't necessarily have to follow like the same uh, the, the reference image. So just like that, we have uh, another spot. And then we just go in and we darken these. We darken these hairs. Of course, it's always best to do uh, to plan the spots beforehand. But just I just wanted to show you that you could also do this. Like make it your own. So then these hairs, since they're coming up from the bottom here, these hairs are coming up from these hairs below, below these hairs, lurk in the base. just make the tips of these black hairs more visible Let's see we could add clumps of hairs extend this extend that out extend this hair Extend this one. So then they, these would this, these would be black hairs, right? So then we start. We just add uh, those individual individual black hairs. I just wanted to show you like the freedom that you have with this. Like like I said, black hair is just that is it's just regular hair. So all we did was just we just darkened the the hair that's already there. So we just keep adding more more of these uh these hairs and then we can darken see this hair right here we can thicken the ends just to suggest that there's a a whole bunch of hairs coming together and then uh, they connect at the, at the tip and we just darken the, the hairs below We could, also, we could also extend this one. That was a 6B that I that I drew this hair with, and then with a 5H, I can extend it out. Same thing down here. Thing down here, we just extend those hairs.
take a curve them. You could also add light hairs, lighter hairs. With a 5H, if you sharpen the tip real, really nicely, you can add these, these lighter hairs. But I, I like adding these, these hairs like along the edge, where uh, like along the face, along the, or along the body. So I like going this way and then going this way. Grab a couple of hairs here that come up from under here. So you can see how much of a, of a how an impact these uh, these single hairs have because just by adding this hair here you automatically add another layer so this hair is below these hairs and you could also, you could also darken these hairs below so now you have three layers you have this hair you have this hair and then the one furthest down is this one down here so yeah So you could also, let's darken this whole thing, this whole section of hair, let's darken it. We'll darken the ends more. So what I'm doing here, I'm just bringing out these uh, these lighter hairs, making the, the tips more significant so you can see them better. So you can separate the, these layers from the black, hair, black hairs below. So you can clump them together. I can extend this, black, this white hair here. Highlight it so it stands out more. Again, you can do like so many things with this, and if you're patient, you can like take your time and just go in and just add these highlights, shadows, and just keep adding layers. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you learned and you understood the whole concept behind the technique that I use and a lot of other videos, other tutorials that's gonna, that are going to explain this technique even further where I'll explain how to draw shorter hair, longer hair, wavy hair, straight hair and uh, but yeah. But the most important thing I want you to remember is that spots are not just black spots on that animal. They're actually hair. And uh, that's, that's what we did here. So yeah, hopefully you found it useful. And if you did, I appreciate it. You click the subscribe button. Please share this. Like and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And there's a, there's a written tutorial in the description, I posted the link there. 
So you can try that out too. And I also have other tutorials that you could also try. So again, thanks for watching and keep on drawing. Take care.